Hi, this is NeedlePointers.com, and today we'll be tied at the Yang shoes using various methods, including foam brushes and normal paint brushes. We will be using this tie-dye kit we purchased from Michaels for our project today. The kit comes with 12 colors, gloves, rubber bands, table cover, and a project ideas book. If you would like to purchase supplies for this project, please click the link in the description of our video or the iCard. Michaels is one of our affiliates, so if you purchase through our link, we get a small commission and you help us keep making more videos. We also brought, bought this extra color too. First, you, you'd want to usually like, tape the soles so the tie he doesn't leak it onto the soles, but for my purposes, I don't really care. If it has colorful soles, I don't care. But <clears throat> then you would want to unlace the shoe, the sleeve, unlace the shoe, shoelaces, so that if you don't want them to get on that. Okay, so I'm starting out with one color, this raspberry red looking thing, and I'm just gonna dab it around in like kind of a streamy looking way. Of course there are other ways to tie-dye shoes, but this is the way we're using for my Galaxy. I'm making Galaxy shoes here. So to get a second color, you just have to clean your brush off and then soak up the second color. And then just apply it. If you have metal fasteners for the le for the for it to go to, don't worry if the tie don't worry, the tie dye won't soak it in. Soak it. Hmm. Because they are metal, they don't soak. I'm gonna clean my brush and then squirt out my third. And now I'm just pushing it. Not pushing, but um, dabbing the color around. Dab, dab, dab. Okay. Okay, fourth color coming out. And we're just gonna soak it up. And then this will kind of transition, help transition the reds to the teal. And now that I have the, all the base colors down, I'm going to clean my brush and take a cup with black in it. And since most of this is going to be colored, I, I don't want to put too much black in to try not to fa mute the colors as much because I want to, oh god, that Oops. a lot, but. <laughs> that was too much. <laughs> yep. I forgot to drain off some of the excess colors, but all the white spots I'm covering with the black. This makes it look more like a galaxy because the, the, the background of space is black, besides the stars which we will be adding later with puppy paint. Okay, first shoe is, well, and now I need to do this. If you like this project, please click the link in the description of the video or iCard for more photos, tips, and written instructions. Pin this page on Pinterest so you can find it easily again. If you have a website or a blog, we would love it if you would put a link to our project page on your site. If you have a crafting related website, we can put a reciprocal link to your site also. These are the finished Galaxy shoes. We'll have to let them sit in plastic bags for six to eight hours. Then we'll have to wash and dry them, relace them, and then add the stars. You can keep up with us by subscribing to our YouTube channel and by following us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, or Google+. Visit our website by cl clicking the iCard to find the link to follow us. So these are the finished tie-dyed shoes, and my daughter made them into a galaxy type of shoe. As you can see, they have little dots on it that are for stars, and we have you know, different colors for the galaxy to represent the galaxy in black. So after you saw us dyeing them, the next step we did was leave them in individual bags for six to eight hours. I then rinsed them under the sink 
until the fabric ran clear and with the canvas it seems to hold the it holds the color really well when you're rinsing it so they didn't they, the, the color didn't come out too much when I was rinsing it but then I put them into the washer on a high level setting or high water setting and with a little bit of detergent and washed them and then dried them and they came out like this I think they turned out really cute and my daughter's enjoying wearing them already we hope you enjoyed this project today and tie-dye some of your own shoes this summer don't forget to share this project with your friends on social media subscribe to our channel comment below and click the like button also, visit our website, needlepointers.com, to find lots of other craft projects and tutorials.